Hi guys, this is Ryan from RC Fun and Games. Thanks for joining me again on another wrenching episode on the new Traxxas TRX4 M Bronco. We're going to be fitting the brass Enduro rims with the softest compound tires they've got, which guys, they feel amazing. We're also going to be fitting the reduction gears from Traxxas. I'm going to be doing something interesting. Instead of fitting the brass rings from the rims in the back, I'm going to just fit the aluminium ones just so I can have a little bit of a lighter rim in the back, but still keeping a good weight. Okay, guys, let's get these rims out. I do like the way they come packaged. Come with all the hardware in the back. They even supply some aluminium hexes for the wheels. And yeah, that's what they look like. And they are amazing. I got to say, Enduro did a really good job with these. So let's get stuck into one. Okay, as you guys can see, it's all done. The only thing I'm going to leave out is the screws around the center lug nut because the tools don't want to fit once you fitted them. But just put it on, put the, the main nut on and then fit the six. And just a reminder, before you run it, make sure that you put Loctite on all these. I haven't done it on camera, but I will be removing them and putting a little bit of Loctite on each one. I did already lose one or two screws on my other rims, okay? So besides that, let me get on now. I'm quickly going to mount the rest of them, put the screws in the other room so we can move on to the gearing. Okay guys, as you can see, we've mounted up the rims. They're all ready to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the body off and we're going to get on with doing the reduction gears inside the gearbox. So I'm going to unplug this, take out the lights. Let's see what we need to do to get in here. So from looking at it like this, we've got four screws on the gearbox. I think we're going to have to move the battery tray. So let's start by taking the battery tray out so that we can get to the gearbox. We will then open it up and change the reduction gears. And yeah, they are. If you want to know the part number, guys, that is it. Thank you. 
Okay guys, as you can see, we've now got it open. We're still gonna have to remove the back drive shaft. Also gonna have to loosen the engine so that we can actually change the pinion and all the gears inside. Okay, all plugged in guys. Let's just check. Oh guys, that's totally changed it. Oh, that is really nice. Well guys, I think it's time I throw on the brass rims. Okay guys, as you can see, we've got them all mounted up and we're ready to go and give it a test. I just want to say massive thank you for once again joining me on another wrenching video here on RC Fun and Games. And I'll see you guys on the next one. There's some more parts arriving soon, so stay tuned guys. I really do like the low gearing. It feels amazing already, just testing it on the desk here. So anyway, before I spend any more time talking, I'm gonna take this beautiful looking beast and we're gonna go and test these rooms.